underground era and when uh, the communist power was, there were several very interesting magazines. You know mm. about it. The night. Ну, есть тот, который да. в Питере Гребенщиков начал в 70-х, как он там назывался? Он начал, потом... он... Рокси. Рокси. Нет, mm -hmm. на самом деле их было много, и вот, пожалуй, разговор с ними. I think mm -hmm. the guys who made these underground magazines are one of the most interesting mm -hmm. uh, figures for you. Uh, Илья Смирнов. The... Yes, he wrote this. I started start recording. So, yeah, okay. У вас есть контакт на Я читал, я писал несколько книг про Я найду контакт. Он не пользуется телефоном, но имейл у него не будет. Он вообще живет очень тихо. Никто ничего. Только я его иногда, когда речь идет об Александре Башлачеве, я его всегда вытаскиваю. Какие-то передачи или фильмы. Он очень интересно мне рассказывает. In Moscow, it was the most popular. It was at first it was Zerkala, the mirror. Mm -hmm. Was then it after the Tchaikovsky yeah. movie? Mm -hmm. I don't The youngsters we're talking about who go on the street and beat everybody. Mm -hmm. This is Urla uh, and light. Urla and light. Prasvishenia. Timnati. Prasvishenia. Urla. It's uh, like bringing light to, to, to that guys. <laughs> <laughs> and it was very radical. They were... Uh, we became enemies with this, uh, with this magazine in one moment. Because I think in uh, 85, we were the most popular underground band in Moscow. But in 85, uh, officials invited all underground bands to, organize, to be organized in one club, uh, Moscow Rock Laboratory. And when these guys from Orlight knew about it, they came to my house, in my karet Neryat, Ilya Smirnov and Artur Gildenbrandt. Does it work? Yeah. Okay. And uh, asked Peter Mamonov to take, to take part in the meeting, and we were the four the leaders of our life and the leaders of Zukimo. And they said, uh, We are against the, your decision that you will uh, be in this official club. We want Zukimo to be in the underground. And before this, uh, it, before this meeting, they were very Serious events. Some bands were arrested with the public on the concert, and the leader of uh, frontman of Brava, Jana Guzarova, was arrested. We were friends. I've seen a photo. Of yes. Arrest, arresting during the singing on the stage. On the stage, mm -hmm. yes. And so it was and for Gorbachev. It was. It was the beginning of Gorbachev era. Mm -hmm. First. Mm -hmm. But first month in '84, uh, there was it's not not it's independent from Gorbachev. Mm -hmm. But in '84, I remember there was uh, Chernyshevsky. Uh, yes. There was uh, all, all, all offension, mm -hmm. of, offension uh, against not only Russian uh, underground, but uh, they were writing uh, names of the foreign artists, yes. which the were fluid, all were. <laughs> <laughs> which were against socialism, and the most funny thing was that uh, Sting was on this uh, on, on this list uh, with his uh, song Russians, mm -hmm. which is loving Russians actually. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the people they didn't know uh, English, they didn't listen to that song, and it was in '85, yeah. But at that time, already everybody I was 
I don't, I don't know, 17, 16 year old, but we were already laughing on this. So nobody was taking this seriously at all. And then this story, our meeting with these guys from our life. And I said, okay, we sympathize to your company. We are in one camp for one camp. But can you have a, give a guarantee that <coughs> on the first concert we will be not arrested if you will organize now the concert? I said, think about it and give me an answer. If you can give me a guarantee, we will be with you. But we don't want to go to prison after playing guitars. <laughs> now, because Gorbachev said some words, this, uh, he, um, it was uh, 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 the plenum. Gorbachev said that it was a very big change, and I believe to Gorbachev. Uh -huh. So just already after that. Yeah. And they became, they started uh, with a very critical articles against all uh, musicians who came to this club, to, to officials. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. it was divided. Yes. Yeah. They, they, they <laughs> and were on the ground mm -hmm. and... Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when, as, a, as a band um, here, because in, in the GDR, for instance, you needed a, a license to perform. Yes, you need to play to in front of a committee and yeah. stuff. Yeah, the oh, same yeah. story. So mm -hmm. I, I was a, a manager of my band. And that's why I took the lyrics of our songs and with all songs, with all poem, poem I went to a special, um, special uh, official woman in our club or laboratory and she read this text and put a stamp, got the chat, mm -hmm. stamp, yeah. put a stamp, if it was no, no, she told me, but we have some songs, mm. it was a song, mm. Krasny Chort, read Red Devil. <laughs> well, and the song was about alcohol, the result of alcohol. Uh, it was like a like, 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 it's like, 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 the the song about white fever. Mm. White fever. How's yeah. it called? Mm. Yes. And uh, the song it was about this alcoholic soul red devils. But they were sure that it's about communism. Mm. And they said no. This you must uh, change the word. Not red, but strashny. Strashny child. Terrible. 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 Terrible devil. Okay. With this, with the, I said okay. No problem. We will change this word. In she put a stamp, and in concerts uh, we uh, Peter uh, sang "Crashly uh, Red." Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nobody re reagged on this. Ну какие? Задавайте вопросы. Я так. So questions? Um, yeah, yeah, of course. Um, just personally. Um, because on the way in, uh, uh, when they tried to describe your background, it's like um, in your flat was, or the flat of your parents, of course. Uh, it was it like was a my meeting. Mm -hmm. It was yeah, my flat right. because I bought it. Okay, it's from my mother. <laughs> I was a rich man because I was. So you could buy flats. I was. I, it was a cooperative. Co 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 cooperative, and I was a rich. The most rich guy you know, a rock company because in the seventies it was Icon Dealer. It was an underground and, uh, profession. Mm -hmm. an antique dealer, especially specialist in icons. And that's why I have a lot of money to buy good guitars to my band. And uh, so, how have you made it? Like you went to the countryside. Yeah, and all these yeah. I bought it and then sold. Mm -hmm. and, uh, it was a big crime and many of my friends were in prison and I was very near to prison many times. But and you sold it to Western people? Sometimes. Not specially. 
mm. even uh, there was no difference if I, I got an icon to Russian guy or to, to the foreigner, mm. it, it was the crime because it, uh, it was bad, all trade was mm. uh, bad. Speculation mm. was speculation. Mm. Capitalism was speculation. Yeah. <laughs> it is <laughs> actually, <laughs> but I was a capitalist because uh, my Jewish uh, grandfather was a big, big uh, businessman in twenties. In twenties, he was arrested by the communists for many times, but. Uh, Anyway, he continued his business. <laughs> so he's been part of the new economics, politics. Yeah. yeah. And we mm, organized the studio at first in my flat, in Karet Neriad. And after two years, we built by our own hands all the group. The studio in my country house. I remember it was a funny story. It was absolutely nothing to buy for the studio. And скажем так, звука это называется подавляющий шум материала, ничего не было. And for making the the noise reduction of the walls. And I remember I found find out how to do it. I came to one school and uh, give five bottles of vodka to, 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 the, to the teacher of the sport teacher and asked him if you had an old old uh, mattresses, mattresses. Mattress. Yeah. Yeah. because we need it. She said yes a lot, five bottles it's okay. They were very big, and my car was very small, and uh, for uh, for many many, как сказать, за много раз я перевез это все на на багажник. Ага. He was carrying so, for yeah, many yeah, times yeah. all the mattresses. But that's what was it already Zvuki Mu or was it a band before? No, no, uh, Zvuki Mu was already. Oh, I played only Zvuki Mu. I never, I never played. Any instrument till 31. Mm -hmm. That's why it's, uh, I think, one of the rare cases in rock music history because I never took in, in, in the childhood, no. <coughs> the, the teacher of the music, I remember I was seven years old, uh, mother brought me to this teacher and she said, Oh, this guy is absolutely untalented. No, I, he can't. But so why did you start 31 years old? He's also not a he was alone, but he was alone, <laughs> but but suddenly I understood that he wrote so brilliant songs and his he opened his original rhythm and I was a fan of rock music and I understood in one moment that he created his own music and this is the most important mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. in any profession he, he found his own idea and that's why I said okay I will try <laughs> I will try to organize the, the band with you and then we found out a drummer in St. Petersburg I came to St. Petersburg asked my friends from Aquarium do we have some idea about the drama? Oh, they said, oh, this guy was 16 years old. We're tired from him. It was Africa. Africa. Mm -hmm. oh. Africa. Mm -hmm. He was a drummer. He was a... He was a drummer. He was a drummer. And he... Um, this time, when I saw him first time, he lived in Sjavazgaki flat, which was the flat where Aquarium Organized their rehearsals and they played in this flat. The same as my flat. Yeah. We till now we are going uh, in, to the guests. Uh, I am going to the 
in St. Petersburg. I always lived in an aquarium for rehearsal flat, Sieva Gatti's flat. I think if you will go to St. Petersburg, you must come to this flat and uh, to, to talk with Sieva because he, he is a real leader in the underground music life till now. Maybe you remember. Can you contact? I will give you. Maybe you, you remember that it was a very popular um, rock club in. 90s, uh, in 90s, 15 years ago and more. Tam Tam. Uh, in he, he, uh, he discovered this. Uh, he organized this. He was one, one person. He was a director, art director, and uh, he, he did everything. What do you think about the Aquarium now? No, it's a pop group. Big, big band with three British musicians. I, I entered the concert a month ago when it was 40 years from the, mm -hmm. their first concert. And, uh, we, it was in St. Petersburg and in Moscow. Only one musician played with Gribinchikov from 80s, uh, Alexander Titov, the bass player. He lived in London, but he came to the concert. So no one from the old? No, he was invited, uh, or, or they didn't want. No, no, the band sort of uh, ruined by life. the life changed everything. That's why it's, it's normal. Only Machine Vremini, only one band in Russia, remained in their uh, first parents. It's a very a rare thing, I think, in the West. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 40 years. Oh, you're just forced that the Ramones had, I mean, they hated each other. Yes, yes. And they played for like 20 <laughs> years. Yes. 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 So everybody has his own car, so just don't meet, just meet on stage. So. But, my, but uh, Machine of Rimini, they are the friends. Till mm. now, it's a very rare case in music history. That's why they are the most popular group, because 40, year, 40 years together. Come on. Okay, but uh, do you think they, they've created uh, anything interesting after 80s? Musically? No. no. But there's, till now they are very popular. Mm. Uh, are, they, are, they, are they popular uh, among young people? I think in province. <laughs> they, in, they, in, they influenced very seriously uh, on, on, on the rock. Uh, on, on. I, st I started to make film about them, and the, the question for me was, was was one of the most important question. I asked the first guy who, whom I asked was Artem Proitsky, my big friend, mm -hmm. and he's a friend of Machine Dreaming, their old friend and big expert in underground. I said, I asked Artyom, what's the reason why Machine Vremini till, the, these pre, till, till these days are, are so influenced for, they have big influence for all musicians in Russia. He, he thought, he said, because, uh, and, and answered that Andrei Makarevich is a good melodist. And uh, what, uh, I think it's analog. Uh, it's an analog to the uh, Tsigansky, to the gypsy mm -hmm. songs. Mm -hmm. They're very uh, Russian. G gypsies are very melodic mm -hmm. songs, and uh, Makarevich uh, can create very melodic songs, especially for Russians. Mm. It's it's strange because they're. A lot of uh, good melodies in Russia and everywhere. Uh, everywhere, are you sure? Makarevich, I think, uh, I was just listening recently some old things. He's a great poet, I think. Because his lyrics are not uh, only very good and clever, but like, like poesy. You know, like what you feel in Pushkin, that he's talking to you, and you just recognize that he's talking to you in perfect uh, poem style. I, I can't agree with you because I don't think that Russian gypsies 
Yes. No, no, I don't talk about gypsies, I talk about the Like I said, that way, Russian gypsy songs, gypsy romance, is so popular. Right. Nothing. It's melody, yeah, it's music, I know. Yeah. But very uh, simple. Yeah. Very, and and uh, songs of Machine Vrimnia are very simple. They are melodic and simple. They are near to the Romans to, and to the bar tradition. That's they are right. easy to mm. understand. And they are not uh, foolish. The lyrics is it's enough interesting. Okay, but it's not the Romans. Yeah, of <laughs> yes. course. So let's get back to uh, it's like underground or when like punk arrived or new wave or whatever you want to call it, uh, which was actually not that much melodic. So how did the people react? So was it like they were shocked because it was so dissonant or aggressive or nihilistic? Machine learning wrote no. something about them. Yeah? Yeah. I want to ask you еще еще одно один капучино. Now we can think about what happened in the beginning of the 90s. Hmm. I think uh, it, it was, the picture was near to the picture in the West. When, but in the West it uh, started, punk revolution started in the middle of the 70s. And in Russia, after five, six years, the first new wave bands were automatically удовлетворители in Leningrad. We had contact with mm -hmm. the center, with the <coughs> center in Moscow and the car. Center and the car. Kimuri, our first concert, it was the beginning of '84. Uh, but I was a fan. And to this time, I was a fan of uh, St. Petersburg New Wave. We became friends in the 80s, in 80, especially mm -hmm. in 1980. And, and I was one of the organizers of the festival uh, Bilisi, in Bilisi. Bilisi 80, Bilisi 80, Vesenni Rhythm, Spring Rhythms. Mm -hmm. In Bilisi was one of the most important events in the history of Russian pop and pop. And uh, it was, uh, I think, uh, an attempt to show to the West uh, before the Olympia in mm -hmm. Moscow that we have three young uh, youngsters, yes. youngsters, three youngsters, mm -hmm. and, and uh, open open festivals. And uh, I, I have, uh, as in seventies, I was. A, Journalist uh, and it was uh, written written about jazz, Soviet jazz in the 70s. Jazz Soviet jazz in Soviet Union was on the. Mm. We have some big bands like Ganel and Chikas and Taras. I just saw Ganel in Korea a few days ago. We yeah, performed we were, in Rashford. We were the really? friends. Mm -hmm. We were the friends with this band. Oh. Me and Troitsky and, uh, and I took Mamonov to the concert. I I saw all concerts, entered all concerts of Ganevich Kassantaras in the mm. 70s. And uh, I <laughs> first wrote about this band in uh, a very strong official newspaper, Soviet Culture. <laughs> because the mother of my first wife was uh, the director of the ideal musician, uh, the ideal music musician. My Tushi. Uh, the mother of, of his wife, yes. Mm -hmm. I don't, don't know the name. That's why at first I wrote about Ganelich Kassel Tarasov. Nobody understood what was Sorry? Mother in law. Mother in law. Mother -in -law, mother -in -law. Yeah. Yes. But then mother in law had big problems because I asked uh, her to allow Torto Troitsky to, because he was my younger friend, to write the first article about Machine Green. Was 78, mm -hmm. and she had big problems about this because KGB ha hated Machine Vrimi. 
they were the real underground, the, the leader of the underground music of 70s with band. And even in 78, она получила выговор от партийной линии за отдела музыки. Это просто невероятно, она была как бы членом ЦК. То есть насколько сейчас все трудно даже представить, насколько вот такая заметка про позитивном ключе про общем, любительскую группу могла вызвать такую реакцию агрессивную в ЦК. То есть ее прописочили там очень серьезно за то, что она разрешила, а не в доброе слово сказать. Uh, a woman, but after just writing a normal article about Machine Ramni, nothing special, uh, she got uh, banned and, and she had big problems. Not banned, but she had big problems. It was, let's say, a party lineage. So, on, on the, 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 the party. Uh, the Central Committee. Yeah, yeah. 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 So she was a member of the Central Committee? Yes. Oh, because uh, you see, uh, Soviet culture was a, was a newspaper. Uh, the head of uh, Central Committee in culture mm -hmm. it was uh, like Pravda, like mm -hmm. the newspaper Pravda, mm -hmm. the uh, newspaper number mm -hmm. one. But Soviet culture was very important because it was. Uh, как так сказать, рупор настроения в отношении культуры. Это было, так сказать, all commands and culture, and they defined this through this. That's why the positive words about the enemies of машины времени, that's why we can't say about машины времени the previous, как это сказать, современная, modern group, that they, they are not on the ground. They were the leader for 10 years of the Moscow on the ground and all Russian on the ground bands. And that's why they were the teachers of all. They first invited aquarium in Moscow. Makarevich invited aquarium in 60, I think 76 or 77. Yes, he invited. Uh, and uh, they are st still they are big friends, Boris and Andrei. I remember in, uh, let's say, 83 or 4, I read uh, an interview with Makarevich in a, I don't know, like a kind of big central uh, newspaper, and this was also a big thing yeah. in, uh, to read the interview, but uh, we were very, very disappointed because uh, they were asking questions about tours, about everything, and also was uh, was questioned that uh, well, some uh, sometimes you are, you've been criticized because you are not always choosing the right way and things like that. Macrave says, "Yes, uh, sometimes we make mistakes, but we always uh, uh, try to get it on the right way." And I said, "What? Why would you do that?" He is <laughs> At that time, he was already uh, going to the official. <laughs> he is not a coward. No, he is not a coward. No, he is not a coward. Евреи очень осторожны, вообще эта группа там, еврейская кровь сильнее всего присутствует, поэтому они сохранились такая осторожность присущая евреям. Okay, but if 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 they if they, if they were like this, they wouldn't do nothing in 70s. So what they did in 70s what was really against the wall. Yes. And in eight, early 80s, uh, this is why they 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 uh, went more. Uh, normal trying to get in contact collaboration with the power and since then their music became kind of yes I agree but it's a question of money because they <laughs> got a lot of money for the big concerts they played hundred concerts at big stadiums and if somebody oh, will ask Mick Jagger <laughs> what do you prefer to play in the underground uh, to be to have a risk to be arrested every Evening, or you will play on the stadiums and to have with your songs, with the same songs. But think, think about it. I don't think that Western musicians will go to the underground. And yeah, that's that's what happened to the Stones. I mean, yeah, after 72, <laughs> it's yes, only and the same so the same story like, with Machine Gun. But to to get back Western to band, yeah, yeah, it's kind of because we were talking about like you're playing and. Another Eastern European country, like a Brussels country. Um, did you know that, for instance, the Rolling Stones were performing in Warsaw? Yes. So, like, you had 
an idea what was going on in the other. I, I must tell uh, one mm, when I filmed make a film about the aquarium and I took I took an interview yeah. from one American mm, girl. She helped Boris and invited Boris to the America, Marina Aude. And uh, 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 she, she told me that when um, she, she first time uh, met Boris Grebenshikov, she was sh absolutely shocked by a shocked in positive way. Uh, how big specialist in Western music he, he She said that all Western musicians, nothing less about their music than Boris knew. Uh, what encyclopedic and all our musicians were saying. Hello, hello. To it. Uh, today, today, today is the day. Ten years ago, died, died, died my grandmother, and she was a big movie star in Russia with a very interesting life. She was arrested in '48 in Stalingrad. It was, I think, one of the most um, allowed arrested brutalists. They were arrested uh, with another big movie star. Fyodorov, sorry, Fyodorov, big movie star. So they were arrested because they had contacts, had contacts with foreigners. One meeting with you, yeah. 48, it's <laughs> enough. <laughs> I'm, from, I'm from the East. Ten years, <laughs> ten years. She yeah. had ten years uh, as a spy mm -hmm. after her uh, love story with uh, uh, the guy from Yugoslavia. Yeah. Yugoslavia, yeah. Yugoslavia. And they, be, they, uh, they were, and it was period when was Stalin too much. was uh, yeah. against yeah. Yes, yeah. 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 Now we hear uh, things about Marilyn Monroe being a Russian spy. <laughs> Have you heard really? about this? No. She, she, she had, she, she been, <laughs> no, she'd been in, <laughs> she'd been in uh, Russia a few times and she was very impressed by both Dostoevsky and other things. And she uh, fell in love with uh, a Russian guy who was uh, agent of KGB. This is all which is sure. And the rest, what they did together, nobody knows. And now, but, but now Marilyn Monroe never was in Russia. I know. I know. It's a fact. Yeah. Good, I, I must show. Sure. Yeah. The, the thing is that... Uh, but in the did wish was in Russia. <laughs> my, my stepfather, uh, he knew Marilyn Monroe and he was an interpreter of Khrushchev and Brezhnev. Mm -hmm. And all contacts with the Western uh, politicians. He was, he was a участник. He was a member of the uh, He knew all these details. Because, uh, so you can tell us interesting mm -hmm. details about the history. Yes, 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 <laughs> yes. Because he was a friend with Frank Sinatra. When Khrushchev was in Hollywood, he translated uh, Khrushchev and Frank Sinatra. Mm -hmm. They, it's not never was in Russia. I, I read it, it from it was also something very stupid, but I read it in, I don't remember, but a serious newspaper. And it was with dates and everything. So it's not sure that she was spy, but it was sure that uh, she, she, she uh, had a kind of relationship with guy who was told to be a KGB agent. So, <laughs> okay. It's a duck. Okay. Jazz, the jazz was an underground music in, mm -hmm. in Russia, and even and it, it was my stepfather who translated the uh, the famous words of Khrushchev when he first time came to the American jazz musician. It, it was mm -hmm. the big big uh, no 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 Trump Armstrong never was in Russia, but. Another big musician. He played in from Brugge. No, no, no. Not the Brugge. Big band. Okay. And Khrushchev was invited. After the concert, it was a party, and uh, Khrushchev came to this American, uh, the leader of the band, and said, "Thank you for the concert, but I'm sure our Russian people will never understand your music." <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 a classic word there.
<laughs> which is ridiculous because there was already jazz in the 20s. In the Soviet Union. Yeah. So, with Joseph. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. But it was enough. He didn't know it. Yeah, yeah, Khrushchev no. didn't know it. <laughs> I remember it was like yeah. 30 years ago. Of course, it was about 20. I will remember this, uh, this band. Benny Goodman? Benny, Benny Goodman. Benny yeah. Goodman. Uh, and, I f and I found out. Uh, he, he was quite a few years mm. ago. I found in, in the papers which uh, my mother wanted to to to, to throw to the skips. Musa. I had to throw them away. Mm. I found a, uh, a big photo of uh, Benny Goodman. Of Benny Goodman with with the words. Uh, with the words. Uh, no, no, no. With, with yeah. the special mm, kind of words. Dedication. My stepfather. Dedication. Uh -huh. Dedication. And I found out how I bring it. And my stepfather was very glad. So, where do you find it? And I forgot about this bottom. Wow. It, everything was banned in the Soviet Union. And in the 70s, jazz was underground. Ganelin Chikas and Tarasov. And. Uh, uh, the they first. Were actually, the Indians. Right. Yeah, they were Lithuanians actually, like Ganelli, yeah, from Lithuania. Li yes, yeah, from uh, Vilnius, so they were from Vilnius. Yes. So was it like you you were informed what was going on in this like Baltic republics etc.? Yes. Because what I know about them is that there was a, also a very interesting scene in, in a, like the first punk band there that was like in 79. Am I so. Biggest friend, Artem Troitsky, uh, he was the most curious person, and uh, he was a big friend, a big fan of all um, uh, Latvian, Estonian, and uh, Lit Lit Litovsky, mm. Litwa, Lithuanian. Lithuanian. That's why we many times came with him together on their festivals, mm. especially in Tartu, in Riga, mm. and uh, we were big friends with. Uh, some um, uh, with Latvian group, Sea Police, Sea Police, Martin Brown, very good musician, a composer. Uh, in uh, Estonia, it was very good sym sym symphoric, mm. great, great. Uh, I will try to, to find out the names of the bands. <sighs> very good. Ruya. Ruya, 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 one of the best. And they turned into a punk band for a short time and called themselves yes, Propeller. Yes. Propeller, so, Propeller had. Uh, Propeller had then, then it's a Western band. And mm -hmm. Propeller, Condor, Condor, very good band. Mm -hmm. so the first group of Wave, Condor. And, uh, in, and Zvuki Mu played a concert in Vilnius with the best new wave band of Litva. It was Antis. 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 With the very interesting frontman. And later, after the end of the Soviet power, this guy became a minister of culture of the fire. Yes! Cool. He was very clever. He was an artist, a uh, painter. You mentioned that uh, for you it was, for Zvuki Mu, uh, the largest uh, impression was being for the first time abroad. Yeah, because it was the first time. And I, re I remember the reaction of Mamun. Because but you were in Hungary, weren't you? In Hungary, in Budapest, but it's not, it was not a capitalist country. Well, that's for, us, <laughs> for us it was a capital. The but same for East Germans as well. So. Uh -huh. And yeah, I remember, okay, so the bar was not more rich than this. We came to the bar and uh, I bought him a gin or a whiskey. The first day we were in Budapest, and he said, everything is in gold. <laughs> <laughs> because it was so so bright, so rich, and in Russia was <laughs> the life was so dark. There was no place. I, I remember when the first time Kino, Kino, the band Kino or Aquarium came to my house. Why? Why? The reason why they all days were sitting in my house because there was nothing to go in Moscow, even to, to drink coffee. Mm -hmm. Because it was only interest where uh, the guys uh, with such clothes, they had very poor clothes, and uh, 
или мы не пустили. Boris lived in eight for three years, I think. For three years, from eighty to eighty-four, he lived in a one room in a big flat. Communal, communal. Where was many rooms? One family lived in one room, and there was one bathroom and a common kitchen. And concerts were in common kitchen for the big room. And I always when I in early morning. To uh, railway station, I bought some food, very easy food, and uh, there was really nothing to eat. Mm -hmm. All this company.